welcome and I don't think I can speak every language which is represented in this room. People are coming from all over the world. You really have an opportunity coming together here to meet in small groups, to think bold thoughts, to think out of the box, to come up with new ways of treating these serious uh, diseases. So you have, you've taken uh, the field and technologically advanced medicine in areas that others have not. Just seeing how urology has grown here, watching what happens in Mount Sinai Health System, I see just how diverse the efforts that you make are, how the urology specialty has taken things to a new level in medicine. I was even here many, many years ago when he organized the first prostate cancer meeting where, we have, uh, where he has shown prostate cancer from A to Z. And now we have this uh, fifth international prostate cancer symposium, which I believe is superb. It's just the knowledge that's here, or it's just amazing, I think, a group of people that's here, and it's an absolute privilege of mine to be a part of this. I find the symposium to be extremely thorough. Um, it's not just about techniques, it's also about the science, and it's also about innovation and where we're going. This conference is pushing it forward into the frontier of where we're going. Having sort of a one-stop shop of all things oncology, not just prostate cancer, but also the latest updates on uh, kidney cancer, bladder cancer, testicular and penile cancer, uh, and being able to learn from some of the biggest names in the world. That perspective exchange is what makes these meetings special. We learn, we learn from the different point of view, we learn a different trick. So the most important is actually to meet your colleagues. The presentation is just like the starting point. We were able to present the results of our uh, prostate cancer genetic research. I strongly believe in our research, what we do, that it's uh, doable stuff. So that's why I submitted, I approach him, I ask him if it would be proper content for the, for the conference. We submitted, we got accepted, and thank you very much. We won second prize. Um, just a few quick words. Um, first of all, Ash, thank you so much. I know this uh, honor means a great deal to him, and I'm sorry he can't be here today. Um, he's taken, uh, you know, I think a lot of us under his wing. Um, he's taught us all so much about uh, prostate cancer, about uh, how to be a surgeon, how to be a mentor, uh, and how to lead. Uh, there are also some very exciting talks, and there is a lot of excitement and a lot of uh, really progress has been in the last couple of years. Deepak Chopra is going to talk later. So the meeting has really flourished into this very comprehensive, multi-specialty program for how we treat urologic cancers. We are able to give here uh, the first ORSI courses here in the United States, here during this meeting. We as surgeons, we have learning curves. Learning curves are the fact that we as surgeons abuse our patients to improve our proper skills. I believe that we should move away training out of the operating theater, out of a real patient, and to train them up to proficiency level in a safe environment like a lab. And this is what we are doing together with Mount Sinai, and uh, we will certainly be back next year to do the same. I've been coming to the symposium for many years now, and I always enjoy the um, collegial atmosphere, the live surgeries, and the quality of the uh, speakers and the topics, and also the fact that it's a very international symposium. I'm so happy to be able to interact with all the experts. I'm so happy to showcase and also learn and see other different approaches of solving the same problem on a 3D live surgery is looking at the holograms from Australia, looking from the holograms from London, holograms from Spain. Hello, hello New York. Is that you? Hello, it's so exciting. It's me, Declan Murphy, beaming in from Melbourne. He was like the person who was here. It was, um, it was great. And the 3D uh, approach, you can really get in depth in the surgery, so it was really, really amazing. For conferences like this, there's a lot of uh, really good learning, learning how to uh, improve your, your surgical techniques and outcomes and so forth, but there's also a lot of great science, and you get to learn a lot about what the, the new technologies are, a lot about the new science, a lot about uh, what's happening in the world of urological oncology. Each time I'm here, there is always a progress, in, uh, especially in robotics. I did a demonstration live robotic partial nephrectomy operation yesterday, and we want to make sure the audience can see what it is that I'm seeing when I'm operating. And although you do get a good idea of it on a 2D screen or on a video monitor or on a computer monitor, it's not exactly the same as the depth perception you get when you're actually operating. So what we've been able to do is replicate that in the auditorium on a large scale so that everyone can see 
precisely what it is I'm seeing in 3D. The best thing is the panel discussion and talking about all the finer points of surgery, which you just don't get. Um, from watching a video. There was just so much going on, honestly. You had the, the live surgeries with the you know 3D component, you had the breakout sessions where there was a really um, like deep dive into some of the nittier, grittier aspects of treatment of these various malignancies. So I think there was something for everyone. For my colleagues uh, who are looking to get updated with uh, innovations and what's being done, not just uh, regionally or nationally, also to learn from our colleagues from Europe, or Canada or South America. This is a great meeting to do your networking, learn, and also have some good, have a good time as well. Yeah, after my experience for the last few days, I would definitely come back to the Prostate Cancer Symposium here next year. It's a great event. I will for sure come back next year. Absolutely, I'll be delighted and honored to come back. This is definitely one of the most interesting conferences for me in the year. As long as there's the invites keep coming, I wouldn't miss it. It's an amazing meeting.